Hey lovelies, it's me again and we're going to continue down the line this time with the demon genre. Um, this one, I thought there was going to be a lot more when I was going through this genre and I actually haven't seen that much. Uh, some of them did surprise me because I didn't really think them as demons that much. Or that I didn't really think there were demons. Um, it just didn't make me feel kind of like demon-esque. As the traditional demon genre, or what you think of traditional demons as being. Um, so it definitely um, caught me by surprise some of these. But most of these I will be rewatching, so I will be putting a lot of orange hearts again. And then some of these I will never watch again because it's just not it's just not something I'm into anymore. Or it's just not something that kind of like suited my family. Or suited my fancy. Why did I almost say family? <laughs> so we're gonna start this round by blue exorcist i did not finish it um and i'm not gonna say that i know why i just kind of dropped it out of boredom i it has a slow startup it really does it it doesn't it it did really like grab and hold my um my attention as much as a lot of others and I want to rewatch it to see if it's gonna either do the same thing or if I can actually get through the first few episodes because I I have an attention span issue <laughs> I need to be able to um, watch something for more than a few episodes i would say if i could get to the fifth episode and finally say okay i don't want this anymore i, I can't i can't do this anymore just drop it just drop it yeah um uh the next one is black butler um this one is actually an unpopular opinion of mine. I'm not that fond of Black Butler. Um, I like the characters. Definitely love the characters. But some of the things they were getting into kind of like turned me off. I couldn't even get past the third episode when Grell was introduced. I'm just all like, oh, the amount of the, the amount of things getting destroyed in that one episode, and it, I, just, I have never seen so much China being destroyed in one episode or in any anime oh, I felt so sorry for Sebastian living in that household with such clumsy people I felt so sorry so this one's gonna be in the same category as Black Butler I will try and rewatch it, but I have no hopes for it. Except for, or this one's going to be in the same category as Blue Exorcist. Why did I? Why? Where is my brain right now? My brain is not here. It's going. It's going. It's not here. It's gone to a different planet different solar system okay but yeah black butler i don't really have much um of a hope that i will pick it up and a girl and hold on to it 
I will continue to hold on to some of the characters though. The fans, the fandoms, the fandom definitely is more interesting to me than the actual anime. I'm so sorry. I'm also going to be reading the manga so let me actually grab um I'll grab this one for those that I want to read the manga yeah I'll grab this one it was, it's kind of like a fuchsia color it's not exactly purple it's not exactly red so there we go and then the next one is Iyuyasha. Seen it all. Seen all the movies. Read a decent amount of the um, manga. There's quite a lot of manga. But I've read a decent amount. This is actually the opposite of how I thought um, the others would be. It's when it came to manga my stance on manga versus anime because usually I'm like manga all the way this one I actually want the anime I love the anime I cannot watch the dub because the voices just <sighs> they grate on my ears like Shippo should not have that deep of a voice and Shishomaru should not sound that way. like that he sounds like an adolescent boy or an adolescent boy trying to sound more sophisticated what makes it sound very arrogant arrogant and very pompous although Shishamaru in his right has has a reason to be arrogant and pompous because he is a demon lord and he is very very strong there's not very many people that are stronger than him um so i give him that that the only reason naraku is even stronger than him or is able to outwit him is because he has shards of the shikong of june other than that shishomaru would have wiped the floor with him with Shish which Naraku knows and makes him a threat so that one I don't like the manga that much I won't be re-watching the anime because I I got the I'm I'm kind of like over that hurdle I don't want to rewatch Inuyasha and Kagome's fights and pettiness and um, arguments. Like I don't want to rewatch like Narak Naraku's like absolute uh, depravity as a demon. I, I just don't want to rewatch it because Moroku makes me want to actually take back my love of purple because it seems like a lot of perverted characters in anime favor purple something whether it be their outfit in Mineta's case his whole being his whole brain <laughs> Okay, okay, back to it. But it's usually like something that is purple that makes, that kind of makes people be all like, is that the pervert? Is that the pervert? Because, like, for the most part, the perverted person likes wearing purple. Or the playboy likes wearing purple. And it's not fair. It's really not fair. Why can't we like perp? Why can't we have like a normal purple wearing person? <laughs> or somebody with an awesome. Somebody awesome. And not that Maroku's not awesome. Because he is. He's pretty cool. But somebody non perverted. In purple. Please. <laughs> 
Like, please. Um, so yeah, like, uh, Moroku's and Songo's dynamic, it's kind of a bit abusive. Like, everything about the relationships are all kind of be abusive in some form or some way. I'm just swaying back and forth because, yeah. Because I can. <laughs> but, but, yeah, it's like, it's kind of abusive and I don't want to watch it anymore. I've already seen it like twice. Once when I was watching it by myself and another time when I was showing my mom. I actually got her into it. She has all of the episodes, a DVD form of the episodes for Inuyasha, the seasons. She has all the seasons, all the way to season 8. And then she's trying to find the, um, trying to find cheap DVDs of the movies because I sh I rent at the time I had rented out the movie um what is it with the freaking tree where uh Kagome was trapped on the uh, in her era and it was with this demon moth guy I think I think he was a demon moth and that Shishomaru and Inuyasha like alone couldn't take him so it's kind of like that um so yeah that one's definitely not a rewatch it's not a don't watch but it's definitely gonna be a non rewatch so that one's just gonna be blank that one's I'm done with I can scratch that off my list um Yu Yu Hakusho is next. Um, this is definite rewatch. I miss seeing it on, um, on, I miss seeing it on, uh, Adult Swim late at night as a kid. I miss seeing it. And, um, it just, what are you doing, cat? <laughs> I love you, but what are you doing? Uh, but I miss seeing it and I know I could find it like online, but it's just not the same anymore oh. Hello kitty, how you doing? How you doing? But yeah, it's just not the same anymore. That's why I haven't been wanting to watch kind of a lot of things that I used to watch as a kid late late at night um it would pop up after Adult Swim, like after uh, Robot Chicken would show up. It would be either after Robot Chicken or after like that freaking, um, freak, I, for I forgot, um, but it would, it would just pop up after one of, one of those, um, uh, one of those episodes and we would get onto the many many animes like Bleach or uh, Inuyasha, Yu Yu Hakusho, um, what else would show up? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, gosh, um, I think I used to watch Chrono Crusade off of there. No, 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 that one was a uh, DVD. Um, but that one's also on this list, but this one's a definite rewatch. I love uh, the dynamics of everybody. I love the joking manner. I love the humor and I, I just loved everything about it. Um, it that's definitely something to rewatch. Um, Bill's a bum. No. Never could get into it. Never going to get into it. And I'm so sorry. I, 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 I'm not going to do it. And it's not going to be happening. I don't know what turned me off about this anime. It, it just seemed like the whole thing. The, everything as a whole just kind of turned me off from it. I just can't pinpoint like what it is. It, I just can't do it. I just couldn't do it. Um, so yeah, 
and then um this one i didn't actually I wasn't that sure if there were demons like involved in this one because it didn't seem like it was like a demon type of anime so I was kind of unsure on putting this on here but then it did show up when I was looking for demon genre so it's gonna be on here um Kamisama Kiss It's kind of like Card Captor Sakura in my last episode, or I'm gonna leave the little name card either in one of these corners um, for my adventure genre. It's kind of like um, Card Captor Sakura, except you're not trying to impre you're not trying to capture them. You're trying to just banish them from the human world and these these guys have um powers or have the powers of, powers of gods goddesses and whatnot so and also they're a little bit stupid like you could definitely see resemblances to everything to between the characters you can see the resemblance uh, it's uncanny between their transformed person to their normal person there's not any difference to how they look like i wish the main characters would make this connection just to avoid the bad guys or even like defeat the bad guys but of course but I think that's the point <laughs> but it's just it's in such a stupid way such a stupid way <laughs> and I will rewatch it because I am a simp for this anime I don't understand like how I fell in love with this anime um I just was going and looking for new anime to find like per usual and I came across it when I was going through the K's and I'm all like oh okay let me go ahead and look for it oh no that's not Kamisama Kiss no that's Kamisama Cotton whoops <laughs> But, coming from a kiss, it's kind of, it's actually like Kami Chama Karin. Oops. Except, where is Kami Chama? Okay. So, yeah, I, I, I take back, like, Oh god, Kamisama Kiss and Kamisama Cotton are two pieces of the pod. One just doesn't involve demons, which is Kamisama Cotton. Kamisama Kiss, or Kamisama Kiss involves demons. Kamisama Cotton involves just gods, goddesses. Well, Kamisama Kiss involves just getting rid of them and so like get rid of the demons go 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 go, go. and so like use your powers get rid of them that's it <laughs> they're stupid though <laughs> um next one. Oh, my brain is not here right now it, it's really not here um but i hope you enjoy my brain parts oh jesus oh okay so next one chrono crusade and this one's a great bridging of the two worlds or multiple worlds because you have a demon that lost majority of his powers because he doesn't have his like his horns got like 
as a demon, your horns are kind of like your, your power. So he lost his. And so in order to use his full power, he made a pact with a nun. Uh-huh. He made a pact with a nun. And so every time she uses this like um hourglass it's not an hourglass but it's kind of like an hourglass but every time she uses it she's draining her own life and she's shortening her life so when her life ends he goes back to sleep until somebody else wakes him up And it has romance, it has fighting, it has a lot of issues, problems, and concerns. You have, you have a, a lot of angst, a lot of drama, and a lot of controversy. Which, because it's a nun and a demon that had formed a contract. So, it's, I love it. It may not fancy a whole lot of people, especially if you're very religiously inclined, because it does have a lot of religious implements when dealing with this anime. It also um, will anger some religious people in reference to some of their... Um, virtues or some of the people that are in the Bible some of the main people that are in the Bible so I don't I don't know how some people will feel about that one but it's it's a really great anime if you want to at least try it out go for it by all means but do not say I didn't warn you because if you are very religiously inclined you will find so, a lot of things offensive in this anime. At least in maybe the Catholic or Christian or Baptist type of religions. Because that's what it's kind of based off of. So any other religions you will be fine with because it doesn't involve those so you won't feel as much of a slap in the face or as in offended but for those that are of catholic religion or christian or even baptist yeah you could try it out, but I don't really see the good thing going here. <laughs> At least when it comes to not offending you guys. So I am sorry, but you are forewarned. Um, next one is Sailor Moon. He, he. If you are singing the theme song in your head or even out loud, we could be friends. <laughs> because that's what I'm doing right now. I'm singing it in my head. But I do not, I'm not into the TV series because I'm not in, I'm not into the ditzy um, manner of the main character of, of Celine. I'm not into her ditziness um, that sh they portray a lot, a lot in the TV series. I'm not into that. I'm never going to be into that. A uh, ditzy main character is not really my thing. I'll try it. I'll watch it. And then, for the most part, I won't want to continue. But the movies, on the other hand, they grabbed my attention. They kept my attention. And I will continue to watch it. It's just like if you were to compare it. Or it's just like, um, this is not 
sorry, excuse me. This is not anime related, but it's kind of like if you um, have watched Barbie, the TV series, and then you've watched the movies. There's so many movies, but I'm very picky about my movies when it comes to the Barbie series. Like, I like them. I like most of them, but I'm very picky about them, which ones I will willingly watch by myself. And that doesn't mean that I like Barbie. I hate her. I hate everything about her. But I can't stop watching the movies. I will constantly rewatch The Three Musketeers, um, Barbie and a Mermaid's Tale, Barbie and a Fashion Fairy Tale, um, Barbie and Fairy Topia, Twelve Dancing Princesses, Nutcracker, um, Yeah, there, there's a lot that I rewatch. Um, uh, what is it? The, what is it? The school one. Um, what, princess school one. That one I will rewatch. Um, but yeah, I will rewatch it all. But you cannot get me to sit down and watch any of the TV series. You, you cannot order me a doll because I will set that on fire. I will set it on fire. So, just be forewarned. I only like certain movies and I am very picky about my movies. I hate Barbie as a person. Or, I hate Barbie as a character. I hate her. I hate how she... I hate what she represents. So, just putting it out there. So, this is kind of like Sailor Moon in a sense because I hate. I like the Sailor Scouts. I hate Sailor Moon. I'd rather be on Team Mini Moon. Uh, I am Team Mercury all the way. Uh, Jupiter is my homegirl. Venus can. Go somewhere else. Stay away from me with her domineering self. And her... Yeah, Venus can go somewhere else. Um, Mars, I think she's too commanding for my liking. Um, out of Uranus, Pluto, and Neptune, I love Pluto. Her hair is everything. Her outfit is everything. Her staff is everything. She is everything. Um, Uranus and Neptune. Favorite lesbian couple. Favorite lesbian couple. I wish they didn't make um, Uranus like so butch-like. <sighs> like, why can't we have two feminine lesbians, huh? <laughs> Sure, like, you can have a more masculine one, but can't we have, like, two feminine ones? Well, it it was, like, an older... It was when lesbians were just, I think, getting um, accepted when they brought in Uranus and Neptune. So that kind of was the mindset of having a lesbian relationship was that you had a more masculine female and a more girly female and that was kind of it that was, that was it so yeah it's nice those three will always be my favorites but pluto pluto definitely and mercury Mercury's so nice and sweet and she was the baker of the whole group she was the one that I that I uh, just, I could relate more as a kid with uh, Mercury because of the fact that she was more the baker and I was a baker as a kid so me and Mercury or I felt like I could vibe I could vibe okay um, this one's going to be long because I'm going to be talking a lot. I'm kind of going to be getting off topic quite a bit. Um, because I don't know where my brain is. <laughs> but I'm still going to roll with the punch. 
I'm still going to do it. And I'm going to finish this, um, this list. Because it's not a long list. It's really not. So, sorry if it's taking so long. I apologize. I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, so, next one. Um, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation again. Um, so, I'm really sorry. Um, Kanjiki. Kan Jiki no Gashpel. I didn't think that this one was an actual, um, was in the demon category, but now that I think back, some of the enemies that got, that he would fight were kind of demonic in a way. So, I guess it kind of fits. And this is another one that I actually love. I love it so much. And I'm going to rewatch it because I love it. <laughs> there's, there's no... There's no reason I should really give to rewatch it, but I'm going to try to explain it as best as I can because I like the action, the different characters you get to see, the different, um, along the lines of the different characters, you also get to see, like, the different looks that they have it as a character because some of them are mechanical, like, gosh, and then some of them are more demonic, some of them are kind of like animal-like, and it's just, a, it's just a variety of characters that I absolutely fell in love with. Um, their powers were kind of, um, were very, were varieties. The book styles of the spell books were also pretty, were amazing. Um, the fact that these kids or adults or children, like, it ranged from children to full-grown adults and elderly just kind of fighting each other for these spell books to gain control over, um, others, over the other, um, others like Gash. Um, so, yeah, it was... It was kind of, it's nice. It's great. So that one's a definite rewatch. And I um, will always encourage other people to watch it. <laughs> um, so please, if you have the time, watch it. <laughs> you may not find yourself being disappointed. If you do, just let me know that you didn't really like it that much. And... You do you, boo. Make it suggestions. Um, okay. Another one is Kamikaze... Kamikaze... I can't speak. Kamikaze... Kaito Jene. Now, this one I know has demons. It has angels. It has, a uh, God himself. Um... Or a depiction of him. It has um, those that use holy powers, those that use more demonic ones, um, possession, um, exorcism in a form. Because the way that they exercise it is so awesome. And the fact that this, the reason why there's Kaito in the in the name meaning thief is because she is literally stealing the artwork that these demons have possessed in order to influence these humans around them so yeah it's it's great it's great it's uh it has that it has a whole bunch of rivalry between these two characters 
three characters actually because one is the police officer's daughter a uh, police officer and that or head chief head chief's daughter head chief um and then opposing um thieves that are trying to steal the same off work at the same time so yeah that's it's great and then the fact that they can't they don't know each other's like identities outside of their um nightly thievery um it kind of helps that jenna looks completely different than her normal um appearance jenna kaito looks more different not more different but looks slightly different his difference is actually less drastic than uh jenny's because hers it's actually a whole change a whole complete change and we live for it we live for the outfits too <laughs> it when we first got into the anime, I'm not going to lie, it was because of the outfits. I got into the anime for the outfits. It's, the main character's name is Madon. And her, they, the main two characters, Madon and, um, I think it was Kaito. <laughs> Which kind of... <laughs> ironic but um they have um they have these um some they have these guardians one is the angel finn and then the one that looks kind of demonic but i forgot his name but he, he is actually one that I like a lot more than Finn. Like, Finn's cute. Her outfit's adorable. But I love him. You, if you actually decide to watch it, look out for the little guy. He is absolutely amazing. So, yeah. Definitely a rewatch. I have seen all of it. So, I can... It does go depict a bit of history in it, although it does kind of warp the history um, to kind of go into the the play of of the magic, the magic and the possession and everything. But it's kind of on the history of Jenny the Ark. So, yeah, of the French Empire. So, it kind of depicts a little bit of that. Um, so, next one is Card Fight Vanguard. This one's actually one that I need to rewatch because I dropped it for some odd reason. This one, I actually don't remember why I dropped it. And I need to figure out, I need to figure that out. So I'm going to rewatch it and I'm going to um, definitely um, keep you posted on that one. Why I dropped it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's kind of late right now, but okay. I'm going to let y'all know why I dropped it in the first place and keep y'all posted. Um, the last one on the list is Haikuoki Se Sekaroku. Sekaroku. Hopefully I said that right. This one is Feudal Era like the other Hakaroki or uh, Hakuoki like the other ones 
this one's um, more demonic in nature. You are kind of like doing a lot more slang um, of people who have been possessed by demons. And it is in the... I forgot which time it was in, but it's... Jeez! Gosh, I don't remember. But uh, it has the... Shinsengumi. I th hopefully, hopefully I'm saying this right. The, the, it's like the opposing f factions, like samurai or samurai and ninja factions. They live in the same district, but on opposing sides, and they hate each other. One's like red, one's like blue. And they hate each other. Why does this make me think of Crips and Bloods? Okay. Oh, no. 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 Okay. But they hate each other. And they would love to see each other's downfall. So these demons are kind of preying upon that hate. Hatred. So. That one's another one to rewatch. Because it's very dramatic. All of its... There's a lot of suspense, a lot of fighting, uh, a lot of sword swinging, and I never got, really got that far, but hopefully this time around I will. So that's the end of that. I'm so sorry for spending so much time just blabbing, and instead of like giving y'all the list my opinion and such um thank you for being with me if you've gotten this far please leave a thumbs up or thumbs down you do you boo whatever you like um please consider subscribing that would be awesome and i will see you in the next one bye lovelies